Have AM5 been running into boot issues such as code 15 or code 46? No worries, because Chris Mizo has you. There is a really easy solution to fix this, and I'm going to show you how. One of the first things you have to do, especially when you get an error code like that, is go to the ASUS BIOS page, the utility page, the one for your motherboard. In order to find that, or to know where to get started, just go down in the description box or you can simply search for it on Google. There's a couple ways you can do this. If you do not have a SUS Armory Crate, do it this way. This is the best way in order for you to get the correct BIOS. Do not download it off any fishy websites because then you want to make sure your PC is working. So go to drivers and tools here and then click on the BIOS and firmware tab up here on the top. Now, because we are in a newer error, that they do have AMD 9000 series chipsets. They do have those processors. Now, this will also not only be able to update your motherboard to the 9000 series if you choose to, but this will also resolve other issues such as SMM lock bypass and sinkhole security vulnerabilities and control limit modes. And this will also help the TDP on your motherboard. All you have to do is download this what I recommend to do is please download it into a USB file. Make sure it is FAT32 before you do use it. Also use this BIOS renamer tool. But again, this is a zip file. So we're going to extract this all real quick. And right here, we're going to rename the file. And once we do, this will be safe enough to put into a USB to install the BIOS on there so again make sure you grab a usb make sure it's fat 32 and not ntfs otherwise it will not be able to read the usb correctly i just plugged in the usb now it should come up on this pc as you see it's named asus bios because that's what i strictly use it for now we already renamed it we know this is in the file that was the zip file now all we have to do is drag it on to the USB right here. Let's delete all that stuff and just drag it on there. Now you don't have to have the fastest USB flash drive. You can even use the USB 2. Just to get, make sure it has enough space. You even get them for free at Micro Center at times when they do give them out. Just take advantage of those USB drives and install your BIOS. Now that we have the BIOS into flash drive and our USB drive, all we have to do is restart the PC and we'll be good and ready to install it. PC is first starting up or if it doesn't reboot properly because of at this code 46 or code 15 issue, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So once you get to the screen right here, you're gonna hit the F2 key. Just hold it down on your keyboard and it will boot into your BIOS. Now we have the USB drive already installed on the PC and we just restart it into the BIOS. All you have to do is go into the tool side here and you're just gonna go over to the ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility. Click it and you're just gonna go down to the drive that we have and here is the BIOS file we need it. So we're just gonna update it and just make sure to flash the correct file to the correct motherboard. You do not want other issues. So let it go through and process its update. Don't panic if your PC reboots a few times, this is normal when you are updating the BIOS, just let it do its thing. Just don't touch your PC. And once it resets, you'll know because it's gonna be just like when you first built your PC, where you have to enter the BIOS in order to set up your PC. Now that's exactly how we want it, as I mentioned. And once you go into here, you can put all your original settings on how you like to set your PC. So for me, I like to set Expo 1. And I like to have my Precision Boost Overdrive on. That's good enough for now. Perfect. Now, more than likely, this should fix your error code. If it doesn't, 
you're still getting the issue, I'll show you what to do. There we go. It's going to boot successfully from here. And it looks like we have a successful boot here. PC is first starting up or if it doesn't reboot properly because of at this code 46 or code 15 issue, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So once you get to the screen right here, you're going to hit the F2 key. Just hold it down on your keyboard and it will boot into your BIOS. Once you enter the BIOS, you're going to go over to the Extreme Tweaker because more than likely you probably have the Expo settings enabled. Now, it doesn't really matter if you have Expo 1 or Expo 2, but you do have to go to one setting here. Just go down to the bottom down here and go to DRAM Timing Control. Once you go to DRAM Timing Control, hit Enter. And then you're just going to go down and you're going to scroll. And you're going to scroll some more until you get to this Power Down Enable. Now, more than likely, it's gonna be set to auto. Same thing with your memory contacts restore. Now, what you have to do is you have to enable those. If you do that, you're gonna see a large improvement when you are booting up your PC. I'm talking about a big, big improvement with less codes that have to load up on your PC. So let's start it up here. We're gonna exit and we're gonna save those settings. Now, this is great to use even if you updated your BIOS and you still have an issue. This is the perfect fix for that, especially on AM5. All right, looks like the PC booted up successfully. We are going to enter Windows. Now, I do have a dual monitor here. The display is going to be on the left side of my screen here. Now we can enter, make sure that all these settings are good and it looks perfect. Now, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is struggling to boot up their PC, especially on AM5 that have issues of restarting their PCs or if it has weird issues freezing, make sure you share this video with them and I'm sure they'll happy, be happy that you shared it with them. On top of that, if you're not part of the Big Wonderful Fan Man, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the, hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here. And also, it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan Man, guys, what are your thoughts of this fix? Did this problem help you out? Or do you have any other issues? Or do you have any other issues that you would like me to help you guys out? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.